In this video, traders, we're going to answer the question how valid are short term candlestick patterns like the five minute time frame? Hey traders, one welcome to you. Okay, so I get this question quite a lot actually, and thank you for sending in the questions, whether it's in the comments, however, however you get them to me. But recently, a subscriber sent it again, and I want to thank you as well personally for sending this question. It's a great question, and I want to address it now. So, first of all, thanks to all you subscribers out there, whether you've been from the beginning, whether you're a recent subscriber, really do appreciate your support. And for those of you who are new here, maybe this video will earn your subscription. If not, go and check out some other videos. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe it would be good to have you on the team. Right, so let's have a look. So the idea of the question of this is a really, really good question because the question asks, hey, listen, you know, if I've got 20 candles on a daily chart over a month period, whatever it may be, um, each candle is representative of an entire day, right? It's an entire day worth of trade, la, 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 la. There's our intraday chart, there's our open, there's our close. That is represented by our daily candle. In that case, that's gonna be something like this, it's gonna be a shooting star type trade, right? Push the highs, close at lows, that's gonna be red. And that's quite interesting. If we saw that on a daily chart, especially if the prior day's candle was a little bit of a green one, then we saw this push up into a day, reversal push down. There's a lot of information on that candle, which would perhaps guide us to hitting on the short side, looking for further downside action. Cool, we get it, right. But on a five minute chart, that's only five minutes. So it's done this in five minutes. It's tricked up a little bit, ticked down a little bit and closed there. How much more valid is that than a daily chart? Way less valid, way less valid in this, if we're just looking, comparing a five minute candle with a daily, purely because of the amount of participants, the amount of volume, the amount of information we've got. Sure, we've got the high, the low, the open, the close, but a five minute period as opposed to a day period when a lot of stuff's happened, a lot of people have made decisions, it's distinctly different. So it's a great question. It's like, well, how can that be valid? And the answer is if you take it in its, each in the one individually, the daily has got way more waiting. Same as the weekly has got more waiting than the daily and the monthly, the higher time frame you go, the way more waiting on that specific candlestick you can give it because it's shown you it's a big, thick green candlestick. The whole week's been aggressively buying. The whole day's been aggressively buying. That's way better than just a minute worth of buying, right? However, if we look at this in the context of an intraday chart, Okay, this is why we've got to be so, so picky about where we do it. And they are very powerful, but the trap that we've all fall into from time to time, some of us more often than not, is looking at that. Let's just use that as a great example, actually, the shooting star type uh, candlestick pattern. And go and check out a kind of full video I've done on that. But if we see that, we've got to put it in context, right? If we see it, let's, let's use two ch different charts, right? We see it, we've been chugging along, doing this, da -la -la, and then we see our shooting star here, right? We've got no volume, really. We've got a really tight range. Nothing much is happening. We get a shooting star. How valid is that on a five-minute time frame? Pretty invalid. That's worthless. There's no point in even getting excited by it. However, if we're in the same scenario intraday, we're pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Then we see a shooting star up perhaps at highs, that maybe that was prior prior resistance, maybe that was the gap fill, something of use. And when we see this there, the nice shooting star trade, how, how interesting is that? Oh, that's super interesting because it's a potential signal that we might reverse, even though it's only five minutes and it's not obviously as powerful as a daily, but even being on a five minute candlestick, the fact that it's done it at a key level adds weight to it. Here, no good, we're not interested because of the, the prior trade has not shown any use whatsoever. Here, we're a little bit more interested because resistance is driven up, maybe it's done one ATR movement, all this kind of stuff. Then we see a potential trigger to get short for a drive low. We can quantify risk on it, we can have a nibble at the short side. 
So the key thing here, and the same with the daily as well. I mean, if the daily was the same kind of stuff, you'd be doing nothing in a daily, you still wouldn't want to take it. You might take a bit more weight on it, but you still wouldn't. This is still a premium, just one example, a real premium place to take that specific trade. So great question. The answer is look at the prior trade, look at the prior price action, look at the price position, how it's got there, what the levels are, where it's occurred. Is that with volume? Is it a certain, you know, all these things add up and then, if you see the candlestick pattern, even if it's on a five minute, it has got enough waiting for you to say, okay, I might have a nibble at the short side there, keeping my wrist managed, putting my stop in, looking for my target. That's great as opposed to this, and just taking this and getting stopped out on really, which is just a, a pattern that's almost randomly occurred and has no real waiting. So great question, appreciate that. Hope that's helped. See you in the next one. Keep the wrist managed, whatever you do guys. If you like it, thumbs up is appreciated. Take care, bye-bye.